Brady. Greetings, folks. Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill here with a weather forecast update. And we do have a confirmed tornado that touched down near Hillsboro in Pocahontas County. And we have details about that on our website. So that was one confirmed tornado. The Weather Service in Blacksburg may go out to survey the damage that potentially occurred with the tornado warning near Bluefield earlier. In Bluefield, we continue to have heavy rain moving over the same area. We've had reported flooding on a couple of streets in Bluefield. And notice the heavy rain now moving into the eastern part of the Greenbrier Valley. So there is a slight threat for a gusty storm or a brief tornado prior to midnight in the Greenbrier Valley as this area of storms pivots to the north and west. But we are definitely going to have the opportunity for standing water in many spots in the eastern Greenbrier Valley, especially with the drought and then with this heavy rain moving through. That'll be a threat tonight, so watch out for standing water and especially fog. Where we have the light to moderate rain along the Route 19 corridor, rain rates are about a third of an inch per hour, but we have plenty more rain coming up from the south. It is basically lined up all through the Appalachians and all the way into southern Georgia. We have the fog, we have the rain, temperatures into the low to mid 60s overnight, so just allow yourself a couple of extra minutes if you're traveling and just be patient with the water on the roadway and the limited visibility due to fog. A couple more downpours tomorrow. Best opportunity in the morning and then mid to late afternoon. Also in our southern coal fields, with a little bit of spin in the atmosphere remaining from the front coming through, there could potentially be a tornado. So a tornado is possible south of I-64, closer to the I-77 corridor. 85 mile an hour winds with Helene is expected to make landfall Thursday evening as a Category 4 hurricane on the Florida Big Bend and then veer off towards the upper Midwest. So we can expect about another inch of rain on Friday. Wind gust 40 to 50 miles an hour. So yes, prepare for sporadic power outages and a couple of limbs down and lots of leaves down because the drought has allowed the fall foliage to obviously peak and now the leaves are just dropping off because of the, the dry weather. The, the roots of the trees are just famished. So it's going to take a while to even to, to uh, bring back the water table. So just be mindful that we will have those high winds everywhere on Friday. Lower elevations will have probably have gusts maybe 30 to 35 miles an hour. And we do have that tornado threat once again in the southern coal fields in the morning through the middle part of the afternoon. It does appear that most of this rain will get out of here by the time the Friday night football game starts. So that's good. It'll dry out for the Friday night games. We dry on Saturday and a couple of sprinkles possible Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. We're not looking for any heavy rain threats. That'll be associated with the remnant low from Helene combining with an upper level low, which is lingering across the Midwest. That whole kit and caboodle moves east but when you have a closed low moving east you typically just get those diurnal showers with no connection to the gulf of mexico not looking at any heavy rainfall during those couple of days so that's your seven day forecast